Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar power video. Today is the 5th of January 2024, so the first video of 2024. I'd like to say Happy New Year to all my, my viewers all around the world. So today is Friday the 5th of January and the weather is sunny the sun is shining as you can see sun shining and then all the solar panels outside so it's sunny and indoors is my solar power system and these are my batteries these were the cheapest batteries that I bought off of Amazon. These are the lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are 12.8 volts, 100 amp hours. And they cost me 239 UK pounds. And at the time, these were the cheapest batteries that you could buy on Amazon UK but this is now January 2024 and I have an update to that so the big news is they have got cheaper yep you heard that correct you can now buy these batteries cheaper than £239 and I am going to show you. So if I go back, if I go to the iPad, you can see here that uh, this is from the same seller I bought my batteries from. And I think that these are basically the same batteries. And they have a different label on them now. I just think they're all rebadged versions of the same thing. So here is the ones they are selling now. And they are branded Power DJ. Strange name for a brand, but hey, that's how it is. But basically the format of the text is the same as the two that I have. And both of mine have different labels on, but the format of the text is the same. So I believe these are all just the same generic battery with different labels on. But the big thing is here is the price has now dropped to just 209 UK pounds. Also, I have been on eBay UK and you can buy 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries for the same price of 209 pounds so the price is now just 209 pounds so these are the cheapest life eo4 batteries that i have seen in the UK so and if you go to uh, so if you read the text it says my VO4 battery 12 volt 100 amp hours lithium leisure battery uh, replacement for AGM battery these are deep cycle batteries they are meant to be run down and recharged over and over again and they are actually made for this so these batteries would be suitable for use in motorhomes caravans boats uh, solar power systems uh, electric vehicles like uh, mobility scooters and golf carts, electric bicycles,
kids ride on toys and that kind of thing. So we go here. Uh, these ones can be connected in parallel. You can connect up to four, up to four in parallel for 12.8 volts, 400 amp hours, or you can connect four in series for 48 volts. So let's see that. Uh, what it says. Uh, to have a usage temperature between 0 degrees centigrade and 55 degrees centigrade for the charging. And you can discharge between minus 20 degrees centigrade and plus 60 degrees centigrade. As with all lithium iron phosphate batteries you cannot charge them below zero degrees centigrade because that will damage them uh, so we've got different usages here like i described earlier uh, we have some dimensions as we can see here and they use m8 volts the weight of the battery is 11.39 kilograms or 25 pounds so that's that now as i said before i just scroll down, scroll down. it's the same kind of things that we said before uh, we've got some specifications here. So a terminal to M8, as I said, the voltage is 12.8 volts. The rated capacity is 100 amp hours, or 1,280 watt hours. The maximum charging voltage is 14.6 volts. The internal BMS cuts off at 10 volts. Uh, preferred charging current is 20 amps. Um, maximum charge current is 100 amps. So then we have discharge current uh, 0.5C or 50 amps. The peak discharge must not exceed 200 amps. We have the weight of 11.5 11 kilograms and dimensions. Obviously, make sure the battery will fit where you're going to put it. So, measure before buying. The battery is guaranteed for five years or 5,000 cycles. And if the battery capacity becomes less than 80%, so if the capacity goes down to 80 amp hours within the five years, you can get a refund or replacement. Now, as I said in the other video, uh, have luck with that, uh, getting a warranty, because you don't know who the heck makes them. As they're all generic and these are all just different stickers they put on them. So, unless you can get any joy from the seller, the guarantee is questionable. So, that's that. So, what I'd say here is that these are cheap batteries. Uh, they don't have a high current BMS in them and as I said uh, the maximum continuous discharge is only 50 amps so these batteries are not good to be connected to high power inverters I have a 300 watt inverter that draws 30 amps so that would be fine so I wouldn't go with anything bigger because these batteries are not designed 
for high current discharges. Uh, if you need batteries that can output say 100 amps or more then you're going to have to buy more expensive batteries that have a more powerful BMS. So these batteries are budget, they are cheap, they are suitable for low power usage. So uh, I have a 300 watt inverter, it draws 30 amps. The maximum continuous discharge of these batteries is about 50 amps per battery. So if you have a small inverter and you don't use it all the time, then these batteries are okay. Most of my usage is on the DC side, using 12 volt devices and USB devices. So these batteries are suitable for that. So they would be good for use in like outbuildings or sheds, uh, in caravans, and things that don't draw huge amounts of current. Uh, these batteries are uh, meant for sort of off-grid usage. Uh, they're not designed as to be a starter battery. A lot of listings will actually state that these batteries are not to be used for starting vehicles. They are not designed for that. And if you try that, you'll probably damage them or trigger the overcurrent in the BMS. So these are not starter batteries. So don't buy them and then try using them as starter batteries. So, so these are sort of good for low power systems or small systems say you want to run some lights or uh, charge your phone or tablet uh, that kind of thing then these batteries are great at 11 kilos they are fairly light compared to sealed lead acid batteries these batteries have a lot longer lifetime around about 10 years so that's good but the main thing of this video was to, sh to show that the prices of these batteries have fallen so that's good so uh, also I'm using my Victron 15 amp charger to charge these batteries I mean Outside it's it's sunny, bright, but the solar panels, all 300 watts of them, are only bringing in 15 watts. So I'm using the charger, and the charger is outputting 150 watts to charge my batteries. So this is Solar Tiger with an update on the price of lithium iron phosphate batteries or solar usage so the price of a 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery has now dropped to just 209 pounds so the cheapest battery has got even cheaper and that can only be good news. So, this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, then please leave them down below. As I always say in my videos, I only respond to sensible comments. If you want to leave a sarcastic or nonsense type comment, I will gladly just refuse it, refuse to take any notice of it. So until next time, this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and happy solaring in 2024. Thank you.